it is me him back once again with another video and today we're going to be talking a little bit about COD 4 Remastered, a game that I haven't actually played yet. I've been putting a decent amount of time into uh, Infinite Warfare, just like, grinding out the snipers actually, but um, considering the new update for the winter, kind of December update, whatever is coming out for COD 4 Remastered tomorrow, December the 13th, I thought maybe I should actually start playing it because uh, it seems to be like they're putting all their effort into COD 4 rather than Infinite Warfare, uh, so I think I probably should start playing it. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about a little bit about what's actually coming in the update. So as I said, it's coming out on December 13th, and I think about 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. or something. I'm not really sure, but um, it's probably about 6 p.m. in uh, GMT. And yeah, so the update will be featuring six new maps, well, six original maps for the game, and they'll be coming out as a free DLC along with two festive camos, which is the ugly sweatshirt camo and the Christmas wrapping paper camo. The Christmas wrapping paper is green and the ugly sweatshirt is red. Now, if you look at them, they're actually quite reminiscent of the original kind of festive camo you got in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, now, I, obviously, I actually quite liked Ghost. I didn't really see much problem with it, but a lot of people hated it, obviously. But this camo is these camos are extremely reminiscent of that original Ghosts Fest of Camo, so I thought that was pretty cool, a nice little nod to uh, to Ghosts. Um, next, we are going to be having some changes to the maps and, of course, score streaks and stuff for the actual update as well. We are getting a festive version of Crash called Winter Crash. Um, originally, this would have been a fan-made version of Crash on PC on COD 4, but now it's actually being released as an actual version of the game. So the whole map will be decked out in snow, Christmas lights, Christmas trees, all that kind of stuff. And I assume there'll be some kind of time-gated event and, you know, like achievements to get within the actual map. Probably some kind of jumping thing considering strafe jumping is actually still in the game. But uh, I can see that actually being uh, probably a pretty big part of it. And, of course, the score streaks, as I mentioned, the attack choppers are now going to be draped with all kinds of, like, Christmas lights and dropping presents and stuff. And the airstrikes are actually going to be Santa sleigh and the reindeer dropping presents instead of bombs. Uh, but obviously they're going to explode, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, if you see that in a picture on the screen right now, it actually looks pretty cool. You can see it has the, the festive camo, the uh, ugly sweatshirt one on a P90 there, and Santa's sleigh up in the sky looking absolutely beast. And last thing I want to talk about is the change to kills. When somebody gets killed now, they're going to explode into a huge explosion of confetti and presents, which is actually kind of cool. But yeah, so basically I can't wait for this. Um... Hopefully it should be pretty good. I'm actually going to start playing uh, COD 4 right now. Try and like rank up a little bit before this. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I'll be covering the Destiny S or L tomorrow as well. When that actually comes out as well as all the strike scoring. And trying to get the uh, icebreaker and the new ornaments for it. But anyway guys, I have been Hitman. I'll see you in the next one. Hitman, out. Yeah,